Did you know that according to the Small Business Administration, small businesses like the one behind me here make up an astonishing 99.9% .9 of all businesses here in the U.S. And according to an article on Forbes magazine, over 500,000 of those businesses are started each month. So my question to you is, why haven't you started yours yet? And if your answer is because, well, I don't have an idea and I don't have any money, then this video is for you. My name is Tyrone Gregory, founder of actionfromsquare1.com, and today I am going to show you how to start a business with no idea and no money. Let's go. All right, before we get to talking about how to start a business with no idea, no money, there's something very important I really want you to understand first. First thing is you don't really need a lot to get started. You don't have to have a lot of things to get started. All you need is the willingness to do so. You don't have to have a big fancy house. You don't have to have a lot of things. Remember, a lot of things that you see on the internet and the people being successful, they all started out small. Here I am in my little bitty apartment and I've converted, as you can see, I've converted one of the bedrooms into my little office studio where I get to work. So that's the first thing when starting a business. Don't worry about having everything that you need, having all of this stuff to get started. All you need is the will. So I am going to go ahead and sit down here at the desk, flip on over here. See, I got the computer set up. We're going to get started. Switch over to the computer. And from there, I'm going to give you everything you need to know to start a business with no idea and no money. Let's go. All right, here we are finally at the computer and we're getting ready to go deep dive into how to start a business with no money and no idea. And I'm going to give you the short version of how to do so. It's real easy, real easy. You ready? Here you go. To start a business with no idea and no money, you simply must get an idea and get some money. Oh, I can see it now. All of the hand gestures at the screen, all of the foul language being spoke. But, you know, I prepared myself for it. It's, it's okay. I understand. You know, you're like, what? Is that? I could have thought of that on my own. I, I, I get it. But follow me here. There is a process. There is a thought process to actually get you to that point. And we are getting ready to go into it right now. So let's go ahead and get started. How to start a business with no idea and no money. First things first, we are going to start with the idea. And here's the thing. Your idea does not have to be original, but it does have to be yours. And here's what I mean by that. Please, I'm begging you, do not be discouraged if someone else has already done it. Don't get upset if you thought of something and you've seen it out there in the world already. Or it's already in production or you saw it on a commercial or you, you saw it on Shark Tank or whatever. Don't be discouraged because all that means is that the concept has already been proven. So continue to do it because you can do it better. So let me repeat, your idea does not have to be original, but it does have to be yours. Here's a perfect example. We all know these guys, Coca-Cola, started the brown cola back in the day that everybody so properly drinks now. And then came these guys, Pepsi. So can you imagine what would have happened if Pepsi would have said, you know what? Coke's already doing it, so we shouldn't launch our product. We shouldn't do it. We wouldn't have the two brands that we have today. Major, both of them are 
equally successful in their own business, even though they have the same product, a cola. And not to mention uh, uh, just these two name brands. Imagine how many off brands colas that you have seen or even drunk in your lifetime that is truly successful. Shasta being one of them. I mean, think about it. Your idea does not have to be original. It just has to be yours. Okay. Next, your idea should be your passion. This is truly important when it comes to your idea or ideas. They must be something that you are truly passionate about. Just because someone online said that they made a million dollars doing something doesn't mean that you should. Your idea has to be something that you absolutely love to do. It has to be yours. Don't chase somebody else's dream. Chase your dream, okay? Having passion and a burning desire for your idea is going to give you the, the will and the strength to endure all of the challenges that comes along with starting a business. Trust me, I'm speaking from personal experience here. If I didn't have a passion for people, if I didn't have a passion for teaching, I would have quit a long time ago. It is my passion that gives me the fire, that gives me the fuel to keep it going. Again, speaking from personal experience, I have tried to do what I have seen others do, and it didn't work for me. Wasted a lot of time, wasted the money. Do what you are extremely passionate about. Next, your idea should solve a problem. I was once asked a very powerful question, very, very powerful question. And the question was, how do you make a million dollars? And of course, I gave the usual answers, you know, work hard, save your money, invest, blah, blah, blah. And they responded by saying, yeah, that may work. But the true answer to that question is this. To make a million dollars, you must help a million people solve a problem. Very simple. Here's an example. If the problem was a lock, then your idea, the, the creativity, the passion that you should have is to provide a key. That is very simple. Solve a problem, create revenue. Solve a million problems, or not solve a million problems, but if you solve a million people's problems, then you're on track to make a million dollars. That is what your idea should do. Solve a problem. Next, your idea should be feasible. Now, let me set the expectation now. Nothing, and I mean nothing, is easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You've heard that before, but that is absolutely true. Nothing is easy, especially when it comes to starting a business or giving birth to your idea. But at the same time, your idea needs to be and should be both realistic and doable. Meaning, like building a house completely out of Lego bricks. Sure, it can be done. But how long would it take you? How long would it last? Would it work? Could someone truly live in a house made of Lego bricks. I'm sure that if, if, if somebody built a house made of Lego bricks, there may be a few people who would want to venture to live in that, but no insulation, uh, no uh, uh, a strong foundation against mother nature. I mean, no. So that's what I mean, like, is it doable? Is it, is, is, is it realistic? You know, you can't build a bridge to the moon using toothpicks, no. 
your idea has to be feasible. It has to be doable. Now, I'm not suggesting that you think outside the box. No, I want you to think way outside the box. Think think longevity, think future, think everything, but just make sure within those thoughts that it's completely realistically feasible and doable, okay? And lastly, when it comes to your idea, there's something you must do. Develop a plan. Once you've taken it through the process that we've just discussed, you you understood that it may or may not be original, but it doesn't matter because it's yours. You've uh, um, understood that it solves a problem. You have understood that it is feasible, that it is doable. Now it's time to develop a plan. And don't get bogged down or distracted with the thought of developing a business plan because a business plan is at its core, simply put, a Q&A. Just think of some questions you might ask if you were getting ready to invest in a product. Questions like, what's the idea about? Um, how much money is needed? How many do you need to sell? You know, where is it going to be marketing? When will you break even? Those are the questions that you ask yourself. And when you answer those questions, that becomes the business plan. The business plan is not a permanent document. It is a living, breathing document, meaning that as you grow and change, your business plan is going to grow and change. As you find out more about your customers, more about your target market, you're going to update the business plan. Your business plan does not have to be extravagant. The business plan can be five pages long to start. As long as you have something written down, you are good to go. Next, now let's talk about how to get the money. Yes, the money. Remember, to start a business with no idea, no money, first get an idea, then you get the money. Now, there are a few things you can do to raise the capital you need to give birth to your idea. And I'm just going to walk through a couple of them. The first thing is work some overtime. If you are already employed, the easiest way to gain additional capital is to work a few extra hours. Yes, already know you hate your job, which is why you're trying to start your own. And what I'm asking you is like, you know, pulling teeth and causing tears. But think about it. You don't have to do anything new. No new skills required, no new effort, just more time. And with that, you're going to put additional money in your hand. Very simple. Next, do some driving. If you have a car or access to a car or access to any kind of vehicle, there is no way you should not be able to raise some funding for your business, for your next venture, for anything. With all of the ride share delivery options out there now, there are plenty of ways to get some startup money. Just take a look at those that's out there. And that's not even the full gambit of the list. That's just a few. But any of those options, you can sign up right now and start driving. As a matter of fact, you can head on over to um, the smartmoneydriver.com. Not the, it's just smartmoneydriver.com. Take a look at all of them, sign up for one, and get busy making the money you need to give birth to your idea. Okay? Next thing you can do to get some money is sell yourself. Now, I know how that sounds. And no, I'm not asking you to go stand on a street corner. But what I am suggesting is that you simply provide a service. Maybe helping people solve the problem that your idea 
is going to solve anyway. Kind of maybe providing that 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 uh, buffer, so to speak. And while you're providing that buffer and that service, you could be getting valuable feedback. OK, maybe you have a particular skill, something that you can do. Maybe you know something. You can answer some questions like in a, a, a coaching style, um, something that you already know how to do that you can do on a temporary basis and charge for that and make money. That's what I mean by sell yourself. Another thing you can do to raise money is to take a loan from a 401k if you have one. Notice the word loan here, okay? Pay attention to that. Don't go dipping in the piggy bank, meaning do not take a distribution, take a loan from it. As a tax repair over 10 years, from my perspective, it is best you take a loan, and here's why. If you take a loan, not a withdrawal, you have at least two years to pay it back without causing a taxable event, meaning that if you pay it back within the two years, they will not have treated it as a withdrawal, and you're not going to be subject to pay any uh, federal tax on it, no state tax on it, is not going to be subject to the additional 10% penalty, and the bonus is any interest that you paid You've actually paid yourself. So take a loan from the 401k if you have one to get started with that. And as in last option for raising some money, I would say go for the friends and family. Just make sure that if they do decide to come on board because you've uh, made your business feasible, you wrote out the plan, you showed it to them, you understand how the business is going to be profitable and you share this with your friends and family and they decide to invest, just make sure you pay them back and pay them back with interest. Very simple. And there you have it. Very easy, very simple, no more excuses. You can literally start your business right now today. All you have to do is concentrate or focus on the ideas that you have. Make sure it's something you're passionate about. Make sure it solves a problem and make sure that it is feasible. From there, go get your money. There is no excuse not to raise capital for your idea and give birth to your beautiful business. I thank you for watching the video. I don't want to hear no more excuses. I want to see you get your business started. If you need some additional help, make sure to shoot me an email, leave a comment, look me up on social media. You can find me at facebook.com forward slash action from square one. Hit me up on Twitter. Um, my handle is at AFSO, or you can even go to Instagram at action from square one. So no excuses. Looking forward to hearing from you. Looking forward to you having a beautiful year, birthing a beautiful business. Now go get busy. Peace.